Hey, this is Chad with homeschoolwebmaster.com, and we're going to go over something that can be a little complicated, but we're going to we're going to briefly go over it today. And the the only way to get a hold of views, it's called views. Uh, this is simple views. Um, the only way to really get a handle on it is to actually use it. So I'm going to go over this today. And then later on, when we start adding content, you're going to understand it better because views is a um, can be a little complicated. But at the same time, this is why you want to use Drupal. I mean, this thing makes Drupal one of the most powerful content management systems out there. If you can understand views, you're going to be way, way, way ahead. All right. So we're going to dive into views. Uh, go to your structure. And scroll down and right here is simple views. Now there's a, if, if kind of, you know, if there's a simple views, there must be a complicated views. And there is, but if you can get a hold of simple views, it makes complicated views or the real thing a lot easier to use. Now right here list all your views that you currently have default on your site. Testimonies, uh, and this is a great view. Uh, so click on testimonies and it takes you and notice it's a list builder view is really just a list builder so if you could rename it in your head views it stands for viewing out a window and you get a, a, a view and then you come over to a different window and you get a different view well this is viewing your contents it's a list of your content any way you want to do it so this one is just the comment and who it was by anonymous and their company Okay, so keep that in mind. We're going to go back and we're going to look at testimonies. Here's another view, a view of uh, customers, a list of customers. Well, you've just got two customers. And frequently asked questions, you have two frequently asked questions, okay? And then finally, we have news. How many news do we have? Well, we've got first item. It's submitted by, that's, an, that's a field, and the date. And then you've got the the article and you got your read more link and then add new comment. And you've got a second one the same way. So this is a list of all your news. Okay, let's take a closer look at how they're doing this. So let's let's take for instance the news. We're gonna edit it. And right here, this is the name of the view, this is the path, and you can set the path right here. And this display, very first thing. Now again. I'm going to briefly go over this. If you don't understand it, don't fret about it. Don't, um, <laughs> that's a funny word, fret. Uh, don't really get concerned that you don't understand views. It will come in time. I mean, don't freak out about this at all. So display, what type of display? Well, do you want all your posts displayed? No, I just want my news items posts. Okay. So if you remember in your content, if you look under content, there are different types. And if you scroll down here, you've got news items and they're adding the word post. So your news items is what's going to be. And we only have two, your second news item and your first news item. So this is a way to sort your content. I only want the news items in the news post. So we're going to leave it like that. How do you want them sorted? Well, I want the oldest or the newest or by title. You can alphabetically sort it. If you're doing a FAQ, you might want it by alphabet, you know, alphabetized. But this is really nice. We're going to leave it at oldest first. And you can list them as a list of the full post or teasers. Now, what a teaser is, is it only gives you a little bit of the paragraph. And you can list just by titles, list of titles, and so forth. Okay, we're going to leave it at teasers and you can limit a little bit. You can show how many items do you want per page. Now, since we only have two content, uh, we, we can't really use this feature yet. But most of the time, you're going to have 10 lists per page and then it asks add an RSS feed. Now, this is fun. You're going to use this. This is how easy it is to add R RSS is to click that button. We'll go into more information on that. Um, and your RSS feed can have a list of titles and so forth. You can decide how you want your RSS feed to be done. All right, so that's an overview of views. Once you've set up a view, you can view your content in different ways. Now, I'm using view a lot, but uh, you, it's basically a list maker.
If you can get this one concept, you're going to be using the most powerful or at least one of the most powerful features in Drupal. So let's just submit this. And um, so that is an overview of views. You can set up as many different ways you want to list down your content. Um, now this is a little abstract. Don't, you know, really, really, please don't get hung up on this. Play with it. Kind of edit your views. One of the things you could go in is under news, go in and edit. How many uh, titles do I want? Well, let's just do one, see what happens. Okay. So we did, we only want one. If we go back to news, remember there was two there. Uh, there's only one on that list and it's got this little pager. It's called a pager here. If you go to the next page, it lists down your second item. Now a quick shortcut to your view is right here. You can click edit. Let's see if it takes us to the node. It takes us to our node. Um, let me see if there's a quick Okay. Well, in the full fledged Drupal, you, there's a little drop down list right here. You can edit your view, but they're not going to let you do that on Drupal Gardens. Um, so go back to your structure and go back to your simple views and you can see it listed. Now I'm going to change this back. And so you can see how they're listing that stuff. So, um, we'll change this back to 10 items, push submit. And now if we had 10 content, it would list 10 items. So your homework for today is just to go through and play with the default views and just get familiar. Go into testimonies, edit it, see what you can do, change what content's showing, and just play with it. it really, if you the time you spend here is going to affect the rest of your Drupal career. You're going to use views all the time. And so play with this, play, 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 and that's your homework assignment for today. All right, we'll talk to you later.